Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning. My name is Derek Flushman. I am the proud principal of this amazing place that we call Daniel C. Oaks. On behalf of our staff, our students, our alumni, and our soon-to-be graduates, it is with great privilege and pride that I welcome you to the December 2022 commencement ceremony for Daniel C. Oaks High School. <laughs> to mark this wonderful occasion, we have with us some honored guests that I would like to introduce. Executive Directors of Schools, Pathways, Choice, and Alternative Education, Mr. Dan McMinimi. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of the Douglas County School District, Mr. Danny Windsor. <laughs> Superintendent of the Douglas County School District, Ms. Erin Kane. Douglas County School District Board of Education Director, Ms. Susan Meek. In the audience with us today, we have an amazing, amazing, fantastic group of educators that our graduates would help would like your help in recognizing the staff of the Oak, Daniel C. Oaks High School. <laughs> I love you guys so much I can't even speak, sorry. <laughs> Leaving Oaks with our graduates today is an amazing educator and an even better human being. Mr. Ryan Hofstetler, class of 2002, and the first Oaks alumni to return to educate our students will be leaving today with our graduates. Ryan, words fail to fully convey, convey my appreciation for your work, for the lives that you have changed, and for the impact that you have had on our students. Thank you for being an amazing role model for our kids. Thank you for your relentless pursuit of excellence in academics, and thank you for coming home. I and the graduates would like everyone to help me in congratulating and wishing our very best and Godspeed to Mr. Ryan Hofstetter. Graduates, each class of our graduations have had an amazing and profound impact on us as a school and our culture, and your class is no different. When thinking about you, all I could think about was the symbology of a bridge. You were the connection class. You will be the last class by which we can measure pre and post COVID. Exactly two of the 22 of you got to experience us prior to the spring shutdowns which means only two of you experienced who we were. The other 20 of you came during unrest, discomfort, quarantines, half days, masks, and our seemingly never ending effort to reinvent ourselves. The other and more profound contributions of your impact on us is and will always be your grind and your drive to reset and reconnect what we had thought the world had possibly taken away from us. And we, as a community, are eternally grateful for your contributions in bringing us back. Your class navigated the loss and retirements of seven beloved staff members, the addition of nine new wonderful and amazing staff members. You are without doubt the everyday why. We are better as a school because of you and your efforts, your struggles and your dedication to what Oaks is and will always be. Graduates, we as a staff are so proud of each and every single one of you. Please know that you will always be missed, but you will always be part of our family. 
Now go and do great things and make the world a better place by loving and supporting those around you just as you have done here. As always, know that I love each of you. Congratulations, graduates. At this time, I would like to ask Miss Erin Kane to join me at the podium. Seniors, please rise. We didn't practice this part yesterday. Go ahead and stand up. Perfect. <laughs> oh, perfect. Miss Kane, please join me. Miss Kane, on behalf of the staff of Daniel C. Oaks High School and the students who stand before you, I attest and confirm that these students have successfully completed the requirements as set forth by the Douglas County School District Board of Education. I hereby present to you for acceptance and conferral of their diplomas, the December class of Daniel C. Oaks High School 2022. Mr. Fleshman, it is my great honor and privilege on behalf of the Douglas County School District, the Douglas County Board of Education, and the taxpayers of Douglas County to accept the Daniel C. Oaks class of 2022. Congratulations. Graduates, please be seated. At Daniel C. Oaks High School, we have many traditions, and this next tradition is without doubt one of our best. I will read the name of each of the graduates, and they will come to the podium to accept a certificate of appreciation that they will present to a family member or a special guest. Then they will return to the stage to accept their diplomas and address the audience. Jashawn Allen. In January, Jashawn will attend Colorado Mesa University to study business. Okay, <laughs> it's been a long eventful journey filled with its ups and downs, but there is one thing that is for certain, it's that Oaks has and forever will leave its lasting memory. The teachers not only are they the mo among the most articulate and educated people I've ever met in my life, but at their core, they are truly have unconditional love for all their students, and I can't thank them enough for all uh, how much you've impacted me. Mom, family, You've always been by my side every step of the way. And even when I was at my lowest, you were always there to help me trudge through the mud and see to the end. And obviously, we finally made it. Thank you. Rosalind Avenger. In the spring, Rose will attend Emily Griffith to study cosmetology. I did it. The day I joined Oaks and saw my first graduation, I was shocked. I felt like I could finally be able to succeed in education. Hearing stories from my classmates that I can relate to. Finding a community and teachers that don't turn a cold shoulder when things go wrong. This place has turned more of a home than a school. I want to thank all the teachers and staff for being mentors and leaving a huge impact on me. 
I want to say a huge thank you to Fleshman, Nelson, and Daly for helping me throughout my sobriety and day-to-day -day struggles, what guided me through my downs and celebrating my achievements. I can never say enough, but I truly love and appreciate you guys. Um, I would also like to thank Cruz, Klein, Vlad, Moncheski, Kim, Marty, and Wood for leaving an impact on me that I will always remember and shaped me into the person I am. I would also like to thank my mom for being patient and sticking by my side. Even though I put you through hell, I don't tell you this enough, but I love you. I also have a few words for my friends. Anna Adams, Molly Johnson, Sarah Marshall, Emma Lewis, Bella Darnell, Joey Whitehouse, Peyton Edwards, and many more. Thank you for being in my life. You guys are my people and have taught me so much. I will love you guys for a lifetime. <laughs> Eileen Borrell Hernandez. In the spring, Eileen will join the Air Force. Then she plans to attend college for two years to become a diagnostics medical sonographer. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would first like to give a huge thanks to all the staff here at Oaks. You guys are amazing. Thank you for making today possible. This place wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't without you guys. I specifically want to give a huge thanks to Fleshman. Thank you for being you, what they call the nicest jerk. <laughs> Thank you for everything, for always listening and having open arms, helping me, having my back, nor ever making me feel less than, giving me a new perspective of seeing things and always looking out for not just me, but for all of us. By the way, today marks one month and nine days sober. Thank you for never doubting me. <laughs> You're an amazing human being. You're literally the light that walks around this school, a walking bundle of joy. And I love you so much. <laughs> I'm going to miss you the most. Thank you for always checking up on me and always be being proud of me. I don't think you understand how much those five words mean to me. To me, I'm forever grateful I got the chance to get close with you. Thank you for being my trusted adult at this school, my literal best friend and Mr. Cruz, my beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> although, although we act like we hate each other, I know I'm one of your favorites. How could I not be? <laughs> I'm too funny not to be. But thank you for all the laughter and the hate crime. I love how we just go at each other. It's probably the best part of my day. You're an amazing teacher, and I'm glad I got to have you as one. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. <laughs> And Mr. Daly, you believed in me before I believed in myself. I love you so much, and I really had, you really had a huge impact on me during my time at Oaks. Your words of kindness and wisdom really made it possible for me to be up on this stage today. And to my parents. Mom, te quiero mucho. Thank you for supporting me in everything. 
You're the strongest, most hardworking woman I know. Truly my ultimate inspiration. I look at you and I want to be just like you and so much more. And although a lot of words aren't spoken, I am so grateful for everything you've sacrificed. And I'll forever be proud to call you my mom, my best friend, and the woman who has never failed to make sure I never went a day without knowing I was loved. I love you so much. I wouldn't be standing here on this stage if it wasn't for you and dad. But it is mi mejor amigo, the only man in, this, in my life who's never failed me. I know we had our times where we got at each other, have times. It was you calling me, telling me how worried you were about me. And me being stubborn, I just got angry because I felt small. The poor girl who can't get sober. A train wreck with all these issues she refuses to talk about. But dad, I promise you don't have to worry anymore. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you for reminding me that you're here for me and that if I ever needed anything, you'd always be here and continue to be here. And again, always telling me how much you love me and making sure I knew it. And as much as you do worry about me, Dad, just know I will never put you through a situation like that again. I really do keep going every day for you guys. I never want to make you feel like you guys ever did anything wrong because you guys are perfect in every way. I couldn't ask for a better parents. Los quiero con todo mi corazón. And finally, myself. My biggest enemy. My biggest hater, stop hating yourself so much. You've grown so much, and look, you made it. I'm so proud of you for making it this far. A year ago, I truly didn't think I was going to make it at all, but here I am. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We all freaking crossed that damn finish line. I wish everyone the best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> Dane Clark. <laughs> Dane will take a gap year and then would like to become a firefighter or an EMS and potentially move into law enforcement at some point in the future. the script here and I wanted to first thank the staff here. I, I don't know where I'd be without them. I've kind of been losing my mind over the last couple years and when I came here I don't know who I was. I was drowning is the best way I can put it. And to come here and to have somebody, to have everybody who would welcome me, tell me they loved me, would hold me if I needed it, it saved my life. And it saved a lot of people's lives. I'll go back on the script. Three effing years, I still remember the person I was when I came here. Angsty, edgy, edgy, quiet, and sad. Now here I am, looking back on all those years, the best years of my life. Funny stories, embarrassing stories, legendary plays, and painful conversations. I learned to think, I learned to love life, because of its intricate and delicate beauty. I was surrounded by an unconditional love that I never realized I deserved. I'm fond of the person I've, be I've become, and I've made friends with people I'll never forget. Teachers who were my friends more than they were my mentors. I will think of you all every day. I will tell our stories, bragging about the details. I'll make people jealous that I was so lucky. So many faces have passed by, but I'll never forget even one. I'm happy today because of you. Thank you, and I hope to see you again. I want to thank my brother, Gavin. He's my best friend in this life, and I'd be nothing without him. Before I came here, Gavin was going here, and every day he would come home and brag all about how great this school was. Frankly, I didn't believe such a thing was possible. Happy? At school? I had to find out what it was all about. One day he invited me to come see the play he was working on, Can't Take It With You. I tell you, watching my brother get up there and put on a performance that had me laughing with tears in my eyes, I was convinced that my future was here, at this school. I'm glad I was right. Three years ago when I came to this school, I was the awkward, at, sad, hair-in-the-eyes type of kid. But after my first few days here, I'd never been happier. 
I remember I would come home to my mom's house, almost bouncing up and down in the kitchen, telling her about the crazy things that happened every day, and the hilarious students who always wanted to make us laugh. Like Scotty, when he sucked soda out of the carpet in Talbert's room because Gavin bet him 75 cents he wouldn't do it. <laughs> but I think the thing that impacted me the most was being surrounded by staff that welcomed me and told me every day that they loved me. All the kids present at the time would brag about the things they would do here, the conversations they had with teachers, the praises they received. Everybody would talk about how much they loved being here, even when things would get dramatic. I remember Woody once said to me that sometimes he'd watch the front door and look at every kid that walked in. He told me that almost every single person would walk in with a smile on their face. That's the Oaks I know. The place where everyone felt they could run to when no one else would take them. The place where they could find a shoulder to cry on and a hot meal to eat. I know Oaks is going through a really tough time right now. With the ridiculous amount of staff changes and the revolving door of students, it's hard to trust the process. I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared. But I know that there will always be someone here to fight for what's right at this school and that everything will be okay in the end. And I couldn't end this speech without also thanking a specific teacher that I'll forever credit for changing my life, Doug Talbert, who unfortunately I don't think is here today. At the beginning of this last quarter, he abruptly retired after 27 amazing years of teaching at this school. Talbert had taught me that what life was really about and how it was our job as humans to find the beauty in every single moment. He was also the director and sponsor of the theater program here at the time and the person who put on the play that made me fall in love with Oaks in the first place. In the quarter before he left, we were trying to find a play to do, and he was dead set on doing Can't Take It With You Again. I was pumped. I couldn't wait to see the spin we had put on the play. I had loved so much, and the chance to be a part of it was thrilling. You should have seen my face when I learned I was going to direct it. <laughs> <laughs> Circumstance put me at the helm of the ship, and I wasn't about to watch it crash. And so I wanted to thank the school, and especially Fleshman, for allowing me, to it, for allowing me the admittedly challenging and heartbreaking honor of putting on this last performance. I think I speak for myself and all the wonderful actors that gave it their all. Thank you for believing in us. And thank you for believing in me and allowing me to become a person I'm incredibly happy and proud to be today. Natalie Clemente Hernandez. In January, Natalie will attend Northeastern Junior College where she will study to become an EMT. Dear Lord, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my Lord. So, we did it, all of us. Today, 24 students have graduated, but only 22 will be walking. In a day that most, if not all of us, have thought wouldn't have ever come. A day we wouldn't dream of seeing. What a day, a day we finally come to see today. Once a day we seen, once we loved to come and go, but now it's our turn to set off. Some pursuing a higher education, while some are going to the military, others jumping right into the workforce. And no matter what, I'm sure that each and every single one of us will have a bright future ahead of us. I've made many friends during my time here at Oaks. Some who I hope to stay in contact to, and others who I unfortunately have to let go. I adore every memory I've made here, both the sad and the happy ones. From the Goldfish Club, when I first started here, for the, through the first theater performance I've watched, through the whole school field trip to the fairgrounds, seeing the first graduation of Daniel C. Oaks, finding teachers and staff I could trust, going on to the wolf trip and getting to pet wolves, and seeing many different kinds of them, along with some foxes. <laughs> well, doing fire mitigation with an amazing group of students and seeing yet another extraordinary play performed to watch another set of students graduating 
having a piece of chicken being the reason we go out in the cold and having the fire alarms go off in the middle of the day, Mr. Marty. <laughs> <laughs> And hiking on to the Golden Gates Canyon Street Parks, St. Mary's Glacier, the Painted Mines, Spruce Mountain, and Sultan State Park with yet another amazing group of students. To having the opportunity to perform in the last play we'll be doing, You Can't Take It With You, directed by a student here who's graduating with us. And now I'm here delivering my final words to Daniel C. Oaks with another amazing group of students who I'll be graduating with, with amazing advice and with amazing teachers watching and with them hopefully to come and watch the next graduation, who the next group of teachers will teach the next generation of students. So I wanna say thank you. Thank you to Mr. Hostella, who was the first teacher I saw and I had the pleasure of being their class with. And I'll be missing your contagious laughs who, no, who nearly made me break out of character in the middle of the play. <laughs> to Ms. Klein, who took me on both, both to field trips and who watched me fall during a skydiving event, <laughs> indoor skydiving, with Miss Norman who helped me with math when I was struggling with it, to Miss Lou who kept trying to kill me in geometry with math but kept encouraging me to do more, <laughs> Mr. Paul who I read Viking books and who I relate to with his at stories, <laughs> Miss Ladd who had helped me understand how to work a spreadsheet and allow me to take naps in her classroom when I work a night shift. To Mr. Daly, who I had the absolute pleasure of making poems with from the beginning to the end. To Ms. Condon, who watched me put a snake in Mr. Fletchman's office and we had a nice laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> to Ms. People, who was there to help me, help and guide me to apply for college and was there to see that I got accepted. Mr. Talbert, for making theater as amazing as, as it is. To Mr. Cruz, Mr. War War Marty, Mr. A, Mr. Walter, Amadon, Ms. Monashevsky and the rest of the staff, I really am upset I couldn't spend more time with you, but I'm so happy to that I could say I met each and every one of you. With that being said, I'm grateful to be a graduate of Oaks, so thank you for everything. I'll never forget what you've done for me and many other students. Thank you so much. Congratulations, my friend. <laughs> Dylan Colby. <laughs> Dylan hopes to become a, prof a professional photographer. He hopes to do family portraits and or senior photos. Getting here has been a journey, and I still can't believe that I did it, that I'm here. But I couldn't have done it without met my older brother, also for supporting me, and you taught me to never give up. Can't forget Bryce, my little brother. For the 13 years you have been around, you have been able to make me laugh, and you've often brightened my day, even when I was at my lowest. I want to thank just the rest of my incredible family for always being there for me. Next, I need to thank my incredible teachers I've had. Ms. Klein, Mr. Pollitt, Mr. Walters, Ms. Ladd, Mr. Daly, and Mr. Snyrwin. All of you have helped me learn in a new way I can never have before. Thank you. I'm gonna give an honorable mention to Mr. Cruz and Mr. Ray. While I never had any classes with you, I also appreciate the time I got to spend with you on the Outdoor Ed trip, Fall Colors, and Game Club Phoenix Focus. It was a blast. 
another mention to Miss Condon, Mr. Haas, and Mr. Marty. I never had any classes and really never got to do anything with you all, but you all are what make Oaks, Oaks, and so I appreciate that. Oh my God, I forgot to thank Mr. Daly. I can't believe, I, for the kindest, the genuinely, the nicest human being on this planet. Thank you. I need to thank Mr. Fleshman for being the greatest principal at the greatest school in the entire world. Thanks to the rest of staff and all my peers. You have made Oaks a safe environment that makes me feel free to express myself and I've never had an environment like this before. Thank you. But one last thing I need to say for my second and third period classes with Mr. Walters. Stay hydrated, everyone. Isabel K. Cortez. In January, E will attend ACC before attending Naropa to become an art therapist. Before I had started at Oaks, I had never pictured myself standing here. I never thought I was going to be standing here. I had been told most of my life by teachers that I was never going to graduate on time if I was graduating at all. I would like to thank those few teachers that believed in me before Oaks. Ms. Carnahan, Ms. Ellers, Ms. Horton, Ms. McCoyne, Ms. Lunt, and Ms. Zander. Those are six teachers from kindergarten to 10th grade. Six teachers that told me I could do it when it should have been more. Thanks to Oaks, I had every single teacher in the school cheering me on. And look at me now, standing in the one place I had believed wasn't possible for me. I was failing every class before I came to Oaks. I was taught to believe I was such a failure that I would have never amount to anything. But no matter how much I doubted myself, I always had my amazing family cheering me on, even when they wanted to kill me at times. <laughs> Thank you to my Aunt Jade for the late nights helping me with math, a place to stay when my mom, brother, and I needed it, and the motivation to stay strong. Thank you to my grandma, who tried to help me with homework, kept me fed, and gave me words of kindness. And thank you to my mom, who stood by me the whole time telling me I could do it. She's my number one cheerleader. Even when I was at my lowest, she still believed in me. Thank you to my younger brother, Alex, for wanting to spend time with me even when I was annoying. You survived my teenage years. Now I just have to survive yours. <laughs> I wanted to thank Chad Spooth for stepping in and being the father I always needed, taking me ice fishing, boat fishing, and just treating me like a normal kid. And my biological dad. When I was eight years old, my dad was diagnosed with stage four esophageal cancer. I was eight when he passed. I remember asking him 
if I would get to, if he would get to see me graduate high school someday. And his response was, I don't know. So, I wore his thumbprint today so he could be here. Look, I made it, Dad. I made it. Thank you. Caleb Hager. In the spring, Caleb will attend ASU online to study sound engineering. After seeing friends graduate, I never saw myself up here. And I'm here. I'm the one on stage, but I didn't do it on my own. I had help, a lot of help. I wouldn't be here without that help. And I wouldn't, and that help came from the staff and family of Oaks. Hostetler. He was one of the first people to open my eyes to how Oaks is different and how Oaks is a family and how Oaks can be my second home. He showed me all, the, that through, all of that through lunches and with him in Vinyl Club, where we listened to records and had the wildest conversations. I'm gonna miss you, Haas, and I hope you are happy wherever you end up. Klein, throughout my school history, you were the only one that always showed me that science in the real wor world, and you taught me things that I will always be able to use outside of school. And you showed me, even though life knocks you on your, the floor, to always get back up and get on your feet. And I'm grateful for that lesson you taught me. Mr. A, although I didn't have an art class, I'm so appreciative that I was able to have you for school success. And I had a lot of good times with your forced family fun, with us playing cockroach <laughs> poker or just poker. <laughs> Although all the, your, and all your other weird and unique board games that we played, I'm happy I was able to join Oaks with you. You are going to be perfect for this school. Marty, I'll miss you. I'll miss you always reminding me to smile in the morning when I thought it's way too early to smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you always telling me that you're proud because I decided to get ahead with all my work. But the lesson I'll always remember is that the best gift in this world that anyone can receive is life and to take care of your life because you never know how long you have. Condon, even though I had you for a quarter, that was one of the best quarters I had at Oaks. To be honest, when you first got here, you were a lot because <laughs> <laughs> I had you in the morning and you were just, when we were all about to fall asleep, there were you bouncing off the walls, <laughs> trying to keep us the energy level up. And for that, I appreciate you and I appreciate your weirdness and not being afraid to show it off. <laughs> Walters, the first time I had you in class, the first thing I thought was Condon energy. <laughs> because like Condon, you were bouncing off the walls when it was too early to do so. Then you fit perfectly into Oaks, and I'm so happy you decided to come to Oaks. I'm so happy that you, I had your, ha had your class. And not only did we read amazing books of incredible stories, and I was able to learn to solve Rubik's Cubes because of your class. Another fun part of being here was me hanging out with your set building class for theater during my lunch. Daily, I'm so lucky to have you as long as I had. And I'm so fortunate to really open my eyes to poetry because you taught me and showed me to really put emotion behind my words and to make my poem my own and to make it to where when you read it, you say, that's a Caleb poem. I am happy you were one of the teachers that opened me up to the idea of Oaks and the idea of making Oaks a home. 
I love you daily. And to all the cast of I Can't Take It With You, I'm so happy I was able to complete that final play with you and we were able to triumph in glory how we did. Aunt Carla, it felt like you have been there my entire life from that day you snatched me out of my mom's arms till now. It feels like you, have, you are my second mom because in a way you are. You've been there at my worst where it felt like hell couldn't be worse than this and you have seen me at my happiest where I'm walking on clouds. I love you for always being there for me. Mom, you have been there my entire life. Truly, my ride or die, because you never left me no matter how hard I pushed you away. You stayed right there by my side, and I don't think I could be here without you, because you were the one that put me into oaths. You were the one that made sure I, had, I got all my community service hours, and you were the one that made sure I, I had a ride to and from school. You made sure I did my online classes, and I appreciate you for all that you have done, because you are the biggest person to help me to get here to graduate and able to say, I did it. And now I want to thank the rest of the teachers that I was able to encounter in the building and that those who left and moved on in their classes or in their halls. I thank them for what, because they are what make Oaks Oaks. And, I, and what I mean by Oaks is it, it's a different, it's different. It's a home where people care, people want to see you succeed. It's a place filled with people that love you, not just a place that thinks you're a, of a number or a percent where you, if you fail, you fail, and if you pass, who cares? It's a place where tears are shed because we love each other enough to where we can trust each other to have our walls down and we're not afraid of getting hurt. That's what it means to be an Oaks, and that's what it means to be a part of its family. I want a special thanks to Woody, Hincamp, Talbert, and all of those who have taken a little piece of Oaks with, the, with them when they left. Thank you. Eli Harmon. <laughs> Eli will continue working at Panera Bread. He hopes one day to go to culinary school. What's the deal with airline food? Thank you. <laughs> Wyatt Herbie. Wyatt will continue working in the automotive industry. He wants to get a dog and hopes to grow old. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, this is my first time wearing a tassel. I'm not a huge fan of it. But, <laughs> um, man, I have been to a lot of schools in the public school system all over America, uh, 17 in total. Uh, this is my fourth high school, and I gotta say, this one's a pretty good high school. Uh, everybody here, uh, the staff, they're all so kind and loving, and they care about you as a person. And I couldn't have had any better of a ceremony uh, for my graduation at any other high school. Um, I'm really grateful to be able to have the chance to stand up here and speak in front of all of you uh, about what I've done. Um, but I'm not going to hold on too long about what I'm talking about. Uh, I just got to say thank you uh, over there, Jackson Anderson. Thank you, man. I really appreciate you. You've helped me out through this massive journey that I've had down here in Colorado. Uh, also, you, Austin, Austin Alpert, 
you have been one of the greatest friends I've had down here, and I have to say thank you for having my back every single day. Uh, Caleb, I love you, man, and I really appreciate everything you do for me. I appreciate you learning and letting me teach you in a lot of ways. Dalton, my little brother, I love you. I never said that to you, but I love you. Uh, my mom and my dad, um, thank you. Thank you, Mom, for coming down. Thank you for coming this, this great way to see this day. Um, and thank you, Dad. Thank you for turning me in, into the man I am today. Uh, after this, I get to go to work tomorrow morning. And I'm going to go work on cars all day. And that, make, that makes me so happy. It makes me so happy to be able to have this school and have the resources that I do down that I do have down here. And thank you. Thank you to everyone who set this up. Uh, thank you to everyone who let me have the chance to stand up on this stage. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Sarah Marshall. Sarah is looking into tattoo apprenticeships. One day she hopes to become a tattoo artist. heart that I say goodbye to this amazing school. One thing that makes Oak stand out is the staff. Words cannot express how grateful I am to have been a part of this big family. I would not be on the stage today if it was not for the endless support I have received from the people here. I especially want to thank Oaks for the love and relationships it has provided me with. Relationships that I know will last a lifetime. Molly Johnson and Rose Avenger were some of my biggest supporters. I love you both so much. I also, want to, I also want to thank my mom for her endless support throughout my entire school career. Thank you for motivating me every single day to get up and show up to school. I genuinely cannot have done it without you. I'm so proud of myself and every single person that's sitting beside me on the stage today. Thank you. Lauren McVicker. In the fall, Lauren will attend Colorado Mesa University to study theater. After college, she hopes to have a career in on-camera acting. my hat off. <laughs> um, my name is Lauren McVicker and this is my first semester at DC Oaks and my first Oaks graduation. During this short period of time I have made deep connections and friends in the old kids class. This is a class taught by the wonderful and wise Mr. Daly that is solely dedicated to students in their last quarter of their high school career. This poetry class allowed me to connect with some of the most beautiful, profound, and extraordinary people in my life so far. Their stories and their life, and their life experiences and their ability to be open about them has had an eye-opening impact on me. I am deeply proud of their accomplishments and abilities to overcome the hardships that life has presented. I also want to thank my theater family for giving me the confidence to pursue my dreams of acting and giving me a positive first and last high school theater production. 
to the staff of the DC Sports Center. Thank you, thank you for, for convincing me that I am an amazing human being capable of great things. I want to thank my family and specifically my five sisters, Emma, Jamie, Lily, Sophie, Hannah, and Des. I know you're there. Hi, Des. He's my nephew. And he's literally like one of the main reasons I keep going, even if I don't show it. Um, you guys are my role models. I also want to thank my dad in spite of our differences and not always being on the same page. I hope you know how much I love and appreciate you and all you've done for me. Thank you for never leaving me, never giving up on me. DC Oaks transforms people to become the best versions of themselves. That's what everyone always told me before I came here. I'll admit, I thought it was some cheesy old high school slogan. <laughs> <laughs> but the first week I came to Oaks, I ran into a girl I had a bad pass with. In our early years, we never saw eye to eye. But when I ran into her in the bathroom at Oaks, my first week of school, she embraced my arrival here and told me that she was glad I had found this place. It was clear that she was a different person and healed as a, revo as a result of her experience at Oaks. I was told in January of this year that I would most likely not be graduating until 2024. That was a moment where I truly felt hopeless. But cut to now, barely even a year later, I'm walking across the stage six months earlier than my graduating class and two years earlier than was expected of me. And many people have a warped perception of alternative schools and specifically Oaks, that all the students who come here are druggies and dropouts. But I personally have never done any type of drug, drank or even vaped before. I was a straight A student and I still needed this place as much as any of my peers who have struggled with those things. Oaks is not a place for delinquents but a place for people who need to get their life sorted, to sort it in a place surrounded by people who are sorting out their lives so they can all figure out how to sort it together. <laughs> Please be aware and conscious of the people around you because everyone has their own story and it may not be the one you made up in your head. Thank you. <laughs> Caesar Zarte Moreno. <laughs> Caesar is not sure what he wants to do yet, but he is leaning towards criminal justice or becoming an, an electrician in the future. I had something written, but I kind of just thought I'm just going to speak from the heart. I'm going to be honest with you, never, I never really thought I'd like actually be here with like a proper diploma. I always thought I'd just get my GD, GDE or something, but when my counselor in a, I forgot which school, with the Catholic you told me about the school, I just want to think, yeah, I wasn't really sure about it. So when me and my mom went here, I knew it was the place for me. <laughs> I want to thank my mom for actually giving this place a chance instead of just brushing it off. And I'm going to admit it, I th I've had a hard time. Like, a after I left in September, I've had, I had a hard time. And there's, and, there's a, and there's someone there always for me. And that would be my, and that would be my brother. Like, <laughs> he always talked to me, but like, I never listened. I just didn't want to admit it. I didn't want to admit, like, yeah. I don't, I don't have my life together. But with this constant talking, I, I finally admit it, and I'm trying to, and, and I'm getting my stuff together. And it kind of goes in hand with the this, this stuff Marty always says in the morning, like <laughs> his little philosophical words. I always thought about them, but never too hard. I only started thinking, thinking about them again when my brother was talking to me. And I, I, didn't I wasn't really here for a long time, but I was glad to be here. Like, I got back into vinyl, I, I got into vinyl collecting thanks to Haas. I even showed, th I even showed them the few I have. And 
the final question I want to thank is my, is my dad. <laughs> Even though I don't get to see you that much, I always enjoy the time I spend with you. I was going to say it in Spanish, but I, <laughs> I don't know. Besides that, I want to thank everybody who's here, who decided to show up, so thank you. Rafael Miranda. <laughs> Raf is still figuring out which trade school he wants to attend. One day he hopes to become an electrician. Oh man, uh, it's taking everything I got to fight back tears right now. And I'm fighting a losing battle, to be honest. Uh, okay. So growing up, I, I never thought I'd fit in too much. I, uh, I would always think I'd talk too much. I always thought I was doing the wrong thing. I, um, <clears throat> uh, I would always overthink. I would talk myself into doing the simplest things because I thought I was going to mess it up. Um, but coming to Oaks was phenomenal. It, it fixed that right up. It was like putting a Band-Aid or Flex Seal on an open <laughs> wound. Um, and it was healing being here for the, the last year of my high school career. Um, all the connections I made, uh, they made me a better person, and I want to thank the staff and students for giving me the opportunity to be here and have fun with all of you and learn from you. So thank you. I also want to thank a handful of people in particular, uh, Kyle, Stubbs, Kyle Stubbs and Shelly Stubbs for being there for me since I was young. Um, always gave me an outlet to share my emotions and be happy. Um, my mom and dad and the rest of my family, um, you guys kept me going, you pushed me, um, and thank you. And the whole Waha family for giving me the opportunity to experience a whole bunch that I don't think I would have without you guys. Thank you. Connor Nelson. In January, Connor will attend Lincoln Tech to study welding. One day he hopes to own his own welding company. DCOG students and staff for opening their doors to me and showing me kindness and giving me the opportunity to find my career in something that I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, I want to thank my dad. He's my best friend and he's annoyingly loving and <laughs> I'm proud to call him my dad and he's been pushing me to greatness every single day of my life and I just want to thank him for that, for taking care of me. That's not something everyone can say and just thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Von Rupa.
Vaughn will continue working at TJ Maxx to save money before attending school to study to become a mental health therapist. When I first heard about Oaks, I was really hesitant at first. I didn't think I was gonna want to get in at all. I was hanging out around the worst people I could, getting bad grades, getting tardies, just not going to school, and I didn't want to go to school. But then I heard about Oaks and I gave it a, I thought about it and I said, why not? And I applied and I got in. And ever since that first day, my life changed in the best way possible. It was, I was getting good grades, showing up to class, and I was happy, and that's what's most important. I actually looked forward to going to school, and I was happy to learn and hear all of what the teachers were saying. So thank you, Ms. Klein, Mr. Daly, Mr. Pollitt, Ms. Ladd, Mr. Marty, Mr. Host, and Fleshman, and all the other staff, you guys, actually believed in me and you guys supported me and helped me out so much and it really impacted me so so positively you only want us to succeed you taught me so much and not just school stuff but so much about life too i appreciate and value all of you so much i also would like to thank my family dad mom Zoe, I love you all so much. Thank you also, Mark. You were there for me and thank you so much. And you guys just want nothing but the best for me and only want me to succeed. So thank you all so, so much. I love you all. Thank you. Campbell Scott. <laughs> Campbell will attend college in the future, but for now, she is interested in taking a gap year. In the future, she is interested in pursuing a career in teaching. I left my old high school thinking I was going to have to drop out and get my GED. I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for so many people. One of those people happened to be my mom. She's pretty much the reason as to how I got here. My mom introduced me to Oaks at the beginning of my junior year while I was still at Rock Canyon. At first, I hated the idea, but clearly I warmed up to it. She gave me some information about it and took me a while, but I decided to come here. It was the best decision I've ever made, and I'm so thankful to be up here with all my friends. This school changed my life, and I'll never forget the memories I've made here. I would really like to thank all my teachers, but especially Ms. Condon, Ms. Ladd, and Ms. Strohaus-Dedler. You guys have given me nothing but love and support, and it means the world to me. I'd also like to thank Mr. Daly. Thank you for always being by my side through thick and thin. And to my dad, I'm really thankful for you. Our occasional drives and our talks, they really help too. Fleshman, you have always taught me to get back on the horse and push through. You're really an amazing person and I appreciate you. Thank you for being the best principal ever. Lastly, I'd like to thank my boyfriend, Jacob. You've seen me both at my best and my worst and you continue to support me through it all. Thank you for get, helping me get through high school.
Sam, or Samantha Shear. <laughs> In the fall, Sammy will attend ACC to complete her prerequisites before attending the Dental Hygienist Program at the Community College of Denver. to start by thanking all the staff at Oaks, but specifically Mr. Daly, Walters, Nerwin, Condon, Fleshman, and Klein. You guys have been amazing mentors and I'm thankful for all of you. Next, I'd like to thank my parents, mom and dad. You guys have been amazing to me even when I've given you many reasons not to be. You guys have given me nothing but love and support and I truly wouldn't be who I am without you guys. To my brother Thomas, you are the biggest inspiration I have in my life. You've impacted my life in so many ways you don't know. And to my sister, Maya, you are my built-in best friend. I enjoy every moment I have with you. Thank you for being my number one supporter, and thank you for always having my back and believing in me when many didn't. I appreciate everyone who has helped me through my journey here, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for me. Thank you. Lulu Silk. In the fall, Lulu will attend Colorado Mesa University to study the arts. keeps falling off. <sighs> My dad recently told me, you're a Peter Pan, you've never wanted to grow up. And he's right. I always embraced the feeling and innocence of childhood and it was always such a strong source of comfort for me. I still find myself awake at 12 a.m. watching Disney movies despite the excitement and anticipation I feel to turn 18. Standing here on this stage feels like a fever dream. I could always imagine the concept of my graduation but never actually saw it coming. And now that I'm up here, I can't explain how strange I feel. When I first entered this school, I was afraid. I was a miserable girl with low self-esteem and a paranoid mindset. I cannot even begin to describe the girl I have become in my time here at Oaks. So many amazing people who shaped me, lifted me up, and showed me that there is in fact kindness in the world when it feels like no hope is left. I have experienced more generosity and humanity here than my entire three years in public high school, and God do I wish I could get it back just to come here from the very start. My mom and dad have done so much for me, and I wish it was easier to let them know on a daily basis. They went into this experience with me with open minds, despite how abrupt it may have seemed. They went into this experience, oh, they knew that I needed this change and were willing to give it to me. When they found out that I had been accepted here, they were overjoyed. They have always been my biggest supporters, even though not every day can be easy and we may not always agree. I know that you guys try your best, and I know that I am in absolute pain sometimes. Thank you for letting me throw tantrums, even if it was as stupid as if a skirt was too short or not. I love you. I would like to thank Woody and Fleshman for giving me this opportunity to change my life and push me towards my future. If it wasn't for that interview, God only knows where I'd be now. I want to thank Nerwin and Condon for giving me support from outside the classroom, even when you weren't teaching. You continue to show me that it's okay to learn one of the most aggravating and tear-inducing subjects of all time at your own pace. <laughs> Marty, for being the hype man and support I needed on those rough mornings. You were so supportive of me. Thank you so much. Daly, for showing me the purity, wiseness, and kindness of an old soul, and for being the realest man I've ever met. You said things that not a single teacher of mine ever had the balls to say, and I thank you for acknowledging the harsh blows that life can throw. Ms. Monashevsky, for letting me complain almost every week and being my second aunt, as well as guiding me through my courses. Vicki, 
for giving me hugs every morning and being the in-school mom I needed within a learning environment. Mr. A, for sharing the same amazing music taste with me, always being curious to see my work and offering the mentoring I needed from an art teacher. I laughed at the dumbest BS in your class. You were so funny. Brandon, for smiling at me every morning and allowing me to have the most interesting, random, and funny conversations that I've had with staff in this building. As much as we teased each other, I know that you care about my safety and health. You mean a lot to me. Klein, for showing me the patience I needed to be successful and offering me safe spaces and outlets in order to find comfort in the classroom. And Fleshman, you really are my second dad. I love you so much. I loved getting bullied by you, and don't think I won't be coming back to throw a few more punches and eat all of your food. <laughs> the teachers I have met here are everything I've ever needed in a mentor, and so much more. Haley, I don't know where you are in the audience right now, but you are the one of the most beautiful souls I have ever met. Every day you never fail to amaze me and show me how loving and supportive you are. You are such a strong woman, and I cannot wait to see what you will do with your future that awaits you. I remember when we met right outside the front entrance, and if you had told me that I'd have the bond with you that I have now, I wouldn't have believed you. You pour your heart into anyone and everyone you meet, and you are such a loving individual who deserves the world and so much more. I love you. Don't let anyone take away your glow. Lee. Lee, Lee, Lee. Where are you? I don't see you. <laughs> I don't even need to say all this because you already know, but I will anyway because it's important that you hear it. You have been by my side since I was a sixth grader. As painful as middle school was, we still came around and made it all the way to senior year. I love you so much more than you'd ever know, and you have given me so much, made me laugh harder than anyone I've ever known, and taught me so many things that I needed to hear during my growth as a person. You are so beautiful and have shown me so much love in the years I've known you, even when you've been an a-hole. I'm so proud of how far you have come and developed as a person. You are so important to me. Thank you for being a part of my experience at Oaks. I love you all dearly. Thank you for the best nine months of my high school life. Kyle Stubbs. Kyle wants to figure out who he is and find out where he belongs. Absolutely, all of my teachers, even staff that aren't here anymore, sadly. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Brian Wood for becoming my father after losing mine. So, just thank you so much, and I'm sorry you couldn't be here. Uh, Ryan, Hostetler, Daly, you two were my closest best friends here. And I am so thankful that I got to spend every day with you and eat your food every day daily. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> thank you for absolutely everything. I, I don't know what to say because there's nothing I could say to show how proud of you I am and how thankful I am. To the rest of my family that's here and to the rest of my friends, thanks for keeping me here and showing me who I need to be and how I should act. And becoming the man I am today. Uh, also, thank you to Max, 
Thank you to Dayanara Garcia. Thank you to Jordan Lee and my best friend, Raphael Miranda. Isaac Taylor. In the spring, Isaac will attend ACC to study marketing. Sorry, I'm nervous. Okay. Hello, Oaks, friends, and family. I'd like to thank the staff and amazing peers that I've come to know throughout this journey. The list seems endless on who supported me, and I'm thankful for literally everyone in this room. Coming to Oaks was one of the best things that's happened to me. Oaks made me a better person. While here, I really considered how everyone has their own problems. Everyone's always dealing with something, and life is hard. I live in my own world a lot, and I got better at accepting that this is not my world. It's no one's world, and we're all here together to help one another. No one can get through life alone. From the day you were born to this very day, you wouldn't be here without the help of others. It's easy to get, up, uh, get caught up with yourself and to want to be alone, but I promise you, no one lives alone no matter how alone you feel. Someone cares and someone always will. So instead of pushing people away, bring them close. You won't only help yourself, but the people around you by doing this. Everyone has their own struggles and it sucks when personal issues interfere with our education. But this school made it possible for me to graduate and for so many others. I'm glad to be standing here today. I've learned so many important life lessons here that I will carry with me for as long as I live. The biggest lesson I'll take away from Oaks is to never judge a book by its cover. It's cliche, but it's true in every way. It represents Oaks very well. Instead of judging the mirror, remember you make the mirror. You see the reflection you want to see, and you reflect that onto others. Remember everyone looks a certain way, acts a certain way, talks a certain way, for a good reason. Oaks is a place where I saw people truly being themselves, something that's hard to come across. I'm happy to say that I've learned to love people that I never thought I would here. I've made so many precious memories here, from Dante, Drayden, and I eating lunch when I first came here, to Jaylene and her crazy car rides, physics and Kleins with Damien and Trenton, lunches with Connor, Pimp, and Dylan, the powwow trip with Paulette, Condon's sixth grade or sixth period <laughs> math class I'll never forget, Haas and his music appreciation class, Lad and her marketing class to my favorite memory, the backpacking trip, and our nights under the stars. And they were just like us. <laughs> and there's so many more memories that I'd love to mention, but we'd be here for a long, long while if I did. I've shared so many beautiful moments with all of you beautiful people. Oaks is so much more than just seeking a high school diploma. Oaks is family. Before I close this out, I want to thank two very special people to me. My day one homie Holden, even though you weren't a part of Oaks, you were there every day for me. 
long before I came here and to now. You know me best, and you've stuck beside me, and you're someone that I value highly. And of course, Macy, for sticking beside me and as well for teaching me so many great things. You too have made me a better person. I don't know what the future holds for us, but just know that you've made your mark. And I will always be grateful to have met you here and for the amazing person you are. I wish every one of you the best. Thank you for taking me into this family and for making my high school experience great. Goodbye, Oaks. Nolan Telford. Yeah. Nolan plans to serve a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints this spring. He will then attend a four-year college to pursue a degree in film production and cinematography. I'm the last speaker, so I decide how long you guys stay here. <laughs> uh, first off, this doesn't feel real. I'm so grateful to be here today. I wouldn't have gotten this amazing opportunity without all those who supported me through it all. I'd like to thank those supporting me here today. My classmates, even though it was mandatory, I thank you. <laughs> I've got five of my closest friends in the world right there. I love you guys so much. The day ones. Thanks for stitching school for this. <laughs> Miley, thank you for being here. I'd like to thank my family who traveled to be here. Thank you, Gwen. And most importantly, thank you to my parents who never gave up on me even when I started to give up on myself. I know that for many of us Oak students, we can say that at the beginning of our first quarter, we felt like we didn't fit in. For me, this was the case for my whole first, second, and third quarter. I've only been here three quarters. I may not have ever felt like I fit in, but I'll tell you this. I have never felt more welcome at a school than here at Oaks. Every day I walked through those doors, knowing it, that it was going to be all right. Everyone here is always rooting for each other. I can't stress enough how grateful I am for the constant positivity that I was surrounded by at Oaks. I'd like to give a huge thanks to all of the teachers. Their passion and love for their jobs and the students is unmatched by any at any other school. I may not have, a, I may not have exactly found my second family or second home in the way that others have here at Oaks, but I found something that no other school was ever able to provide for me. I found myself. I wasn't happy with the person I was before coming to Oaks. I had no drive, I was unsure of my beliefs, and I cared too much about what others thought. My experience here has taught me that success is found when you don't let society tell you who you are. I once thought that my high school career would have been defined by my ADHD. Given the right environment here at Oaks, I learned how to approach my mental weaknesses and turn them into strengths. Perhaps the most important thing I've learned here at Oaks is to put others before yourself. You never know what another person may be going through. It, a simple act of kindness might be all someone needs to keep going. It was the simple, kind nature of Oaks that kept me determined to reach my goal of graduation. Thank you, Oaks. I made it. It's a wrap. Let's have one more giant round of applause for all of our graduates. Congratulations to you all. I and this staff is so very proud of you. Congratulations. To our families, it was mentioned a couple of times, 
There was some sleepless nights when we were making these decisions to come here. Thank you for trusting your students to this amazing staff, to me, and to our school district, and specifically to Oaks. I hope today this proves that your decision was worth it, and on behalf of myself and our staff, congratulations to you all as well. There are many members of the Douglas County School District here this morning. One of them I would like to especially recognize, Ms. Jan Lanning from the Douglas County Student Support Center. Jan, please stand up. I did that because she hates public attention. You're welcome, Jan. Jan and I uh, are part of the alternative education group here for Douglas County uh, with several other schools, Eagle, Plum, Student Support Center, EDCSD. We are led by an amazing man, Mr. Dan McMenemy. Thank you, Dan, for all of your contributions to alternative ed. Now we have just one final event before we get to Wien. Graduates, please rise. Graduates ready. Thank you all so much for coming this morning. Wonderful job, Ms. Matashevsky, Mr. Marty. Uh, thank you to our staff. Thank you all for coming this morning to join our graduates. Uh, for our returning students, January 4, quarter three starts. Have a great break. We love you all. Be safe. Thank you.